MicroSurvey CAD 2015 is powered by the new integrated IntelliCAD 8 engine. It can read and write the latest DWG 2013 format files for compatibility with AutoCAD 2015, and it also has improved object enablers for civil 3D drawings. With IntelliCAD 8, MicroSurvey CAD is now available in both 32-bit and 64-bit versions, so if you're using a modern computer with a 64-bit version of Windows, MicroSurvey CAD 2015 can access more system resources in a more efficient manner. You'll experience faster and smoother drafting and calculation operations, and you can work with larger drawings containing more points. Along with performance enhancements, IntelliCAD 8 also has some great new features. The first difference you may notice is the new black display theme, which gives the program a sleek new look. If desired, it can be changed via your options command. On the display tab, you can select from one of several themes. The grid has been enhanced and can now display full grid lines instead of dots, which extend beyond your drawing limits and are adaptive, so as you zoom within your drawing, the grid will update so the grid is always a usable size. Because the grid options are drawing specific, to enable the new grid in existing drawings, you may need to go into your grid settings by right clicking on grid in the status bar and selecting settings, which unfortunately is cut off from the bottom of my recording area. You turn on the grid and set it to be adaptive and to display beyond your drawing limits. Several new layer tools are available in the format layer tools menu. And if we go into the IntelliCAD Explorer, you can see that it has new integrated layer states and layer filters. By default, you'll have an all used layers filter and inverting it with this button here will show you all of your unused layers. Layer filters can be created for groups of layers. For example, if I choose my MS point, point number, description, and elevation layer, we can quickly see those layers. Again, inverting it will show all other layers. You can select an appropriate name, such as point layers, and maybe we'll create one more group layer. Let's call it annotation la layers. And let's select your point numbers, bearings, distances, descriptions, and elevations. You can also create property filters. For example, perhaps red layers. Which can be used to show you everything that is red, or everything that is not red. or tree layers. For all layers containing the word tree with wildcard matching in their layer name. New layer properties are available including a transparency value as well as a description for your layers and you can search within your layer list by typing in the search bar again with wildcard matching. Layer states let you save the state of all of your current layers, including their on or off, locked or unlocked, thawed and unthawed, and whatnot. For example, I want to uh, create a layer state, perhaps for uh, final submission to my land titles office. That way I can easily get back to this state of the drawing at any time. Other new tools include the Quick Select command, which is useful for quickly selecting entities based on their type or properties. For example, if I want to select all points that are on layer MS Point, you can see that it's created a selection set of 213 of my points. We also have several new draw order tools. 
You can edit any of your blocks in place in the current drawing, and you can open externally references drawings for edit. If you're working in 3D, you'll definitely appreciate the new 3D orbit commands for easily manipulating your view.